Well, 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 we meet again. Tonight, Brandon Pern and I are going to Derek Wolf's retirement party. This weekend, mom and dad had our first ever overnight away from our two-year-old daughter, and let me tell you, if you're gonna go out only once a year, you wanna make it count. First, let's give it up for my faux leather Spanx and abs, brought to you by Diastasis Recti, AKA my abs are completely torn in half because of my daughter. Then let's give it up for Brandon's killer outfit. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. We're still a little unsure how we got into Derek Wolf's retirement party, but wow, it did not disappoint. We got there earlier than I knew we should, but that's okay. We were excited to get out and have some drinks and leave the 1.5 mile radius that we usually exist in. The food was very yummy. There was an amazing open bar, some really sentimental and sweet speeches. We, we obviously love him, we all love him for all the right reasons. All player, all of you watch the games, know what kind of football player he was, but uh, even a better person, a great family man now, which I knew he would be. And at the end of everyone's speeches, Derek Wolf got up and like said thank you and kind of got emotional and it was it was just really sweet to watch. As the night went on, we found some familiar faces, got a little more loose and comfortable, and then we got to meet some real NFL legends and wow, was Brandon a happy camper. It was pretty cool to see him in his element, but also outside of his element, right? Because what he does, even though it's so fun and flexible, it can also be really isolating. So it was just really cool to watch him have a good night. We stayed out late, we had some shots. I don't think I'd done that in decades. And we got home at like one in the morning. Oh yeah, I also met Johnny Bolin and wow guys, do you think Brandon should have him on TGS? I just wanna say Derek Wolf is huge. Like he's giant, he could throw everyone around. I mean, I know he does that for a living but he's giant his wife abby was so nice and overall like you could just tell they put a lot of planning and coordination into the event and, like some of the coaches and family had flown in just that weekend for the party meanwhile carmy also had a blast at her first sleepover at grandma and grandpa's with her cousin walker reuniting with her the next morning was so fun and so sweet what do you wish we would have asked kubiak i wish i had asked if he thinks hackett should be fired Tuesday night, making chicken parm. How was your day, Brandon? Busy, it never stops. Okay, what's <clears throat> your chef review? Zagat wouldn't even put this on the books. Wait. Cause it's too good. <laughs> Chef, 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 you done good. The bear. The bear. This was actually a very easy recipe. You just cut the chicken in half, melt butter, put a little oil in there, breadcrumbs, put it all together. <laughs> you know how you pay... Hi, Carmi. I'm just talking to the camera for a sec, okay? You know how you pay daycare, the equivalent of your mortgage, essentially once a month, and in return they give you viruses? <laughs> Poor little Carmi has a little nose and throat virus, and we saw the doctor this morning, and there's nothing they can really do. And she's like mostly okay and happy, but really tired, and so... On a day that we would normally be at the library or at the park for hours, we're just kind of chilling and resting and leaning into screen time, which is okay. Did you get me flowers? Mama, did you give Mama flowers? Thank you, honey. Those are beautiful. Let's go put them on the table. Please subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that alert button because I am not very consistent. 